Okay, so uh, today I'm going to be making a little how-to video on how to install mods to, well, Armor Cold War Assault, but in general this should work for any ARM game. Now, the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to go to an ARMA site. I, for example, I use uh, OFP Info, and you can get mods there. Now, it's a very old site, but you can still get a lot of good ones. Uh, here I have the PLA mod, 3.2. Uh, now, as you can see, this is a RAR file. Now, this is what always got me when I was younger. I never understood to do this. Because modders, in their infinite wisdom, usually just say, unpack it. You need to have a program, such as 7-zip, that's what I have. Or anything that anything that turns something, anything that will convert RAR or other files to zip. Then you download it, you can find it anywhere. Uh, you take it, and go to extract file. Now, see, you extract to my desktop, PLA, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's going to take about a minute. Now, it takes longer with depending on the game. For instance, Army 3 mods might take a few minutes. So there's that. Now, see, it's loading now. And once it does, it will come into one of these little uh, mod folders that's zip. Now, I have a lot of these. I need to pack them. <laughs> I'm a pack rat in real life and here. Now, I have a mod now it's here. What we would do then is you go into it, like this, uh, there's README, uh, that's in Chinese obviously, but normally you would click that to get any information like extra mods you might need. You would copy and paste all of this, copy and, copy, uh, I'm not copying it because I already have this mod installed. Then you go to your game and you go down to properties, you go to local files, and you go to browse local files, and go to add-ons. And as you can see, you would just copy it into add-ons, as well as into your DTA and um, bin files, if it asks. Like, if you look here, if you look here, you'll see there's, um, oh, there's none. But sometimes there would be stuff for uh, adding it to other files. Uh, one thing I recommend, though, is that before you install any mod, you copy and paste everything that's here, all your unmodded stuff, and your DTA, and your bin, and your campaigns, in case you forget what's a mod and what isn't. But yeah, once you do that, you just click play, and as long as you've done everything right, you should have a mod going. 